first music video debuted in 1981 with the Buggled song, Video Killed Radio Star, a song a lot of us may have some vague recollection of. Visuals aside, the apparent purpose of the music video was in the title itself, Video Killed Radio Star. It heralded to what the people of the 80s was the death of radio broadcast music and the birth of a new visual medium. And while that wasn't exactly the case, the effects of music videos on mass media culture and the way we consume music has been incredible. Technical aspects of music videos differ from different visual media because of the way they intend to get their meanings across. Camera movements, multiple cuts, and cutting to the beat of the song help create a sense of excitement and activity in a music video. The visuals are there to augment the music video and achieve this best by being visually engaging attachments to the music. In concert or as live footage in music videos is best presented as such through the use of lip syncing, especially with pop music that include dance routines in the video. With regards to purpose, there are three main types of producers in the, in the music industry. The major label, the independent label, and the self-producer. Artists like Lady Gaga and Beyonce and the labels like Interscope and Def Jam typically have big budget music videos that include things like movie star cameos and gratuitous product placement. Videophone is a good example of what is called a narrative music video. One that features characters and a plot that is easily understood visually with little or no actual dialogue sometimes just for the sake of plugging products like Polaroid cameras or Virgin Mobile. These approaches are referred to collectively as producer strategies and also include things like music videos for the sake of synergy, like every recent James Bond theme. I've been here before. Alternatively, well, alternative artists under indie labels like Cult Records and Sub Pop generally have a lot less product placement and fo focus more on the aesthetic impact of the music video to promote the artists or bands. They also typically feature more input from the artists, working with the creators of, of the music video, or creators that the artist has chosen to produce the music video. I attempted to use some of the techniques of self-produced music videos that try to use the convention of music videos in a unique way. Radiohead is a band famous for its surrealist music videos, with the examples of Just, Knives Out and P Paranoid Android serving as a kind of benchmark for how diverse and imaginative their music videos are. My interpretation of Jigsaw falling into place tries to capitalize on this by its use of continuous shots rather than multiple cuts and elements of mise-en-scene that present narrative theories as to the overall theme of the video. The lonely man in the hallway, posters on the wall with conflicting messages, young man being bullied, etc. My use of colour and text to match the pacing and tone of the song at different points in a disjointed way are part of the overall presentation of the video, using low resolution filming and editing to you to create a sense of damage in the music video, that something in its footage was lost before it reached the viewer, which is my interpretation of the song, which was an element of my interpretation of the song. Thanks for watching.